using iodine and ethanol. There are two ways to prepare iodoform and uh, both of them you have to know the reactions. You have to learn the reactions for both. So iodoform is CHI3. CH. Surprising part of this compound is it is a single carbon. Ekhi carbon hai present. It is a single carbon compound, but still is formed as a solid. So it is a very rare example. You know that single carbon ka example methane hai, ethane hai, propane hai, three carbons, four carbons, butane, five carbons, pentane, be solid liquid rehte hai. After six, seven carbons, they start to solidify. And the beauty of this compound is despite of the fact that it has a single carbon it is a beautiful yellow color solid so let us see how is iodoform chi3 prepared using either ethyl alcohol or acetone so there are two ways to prepare it is better to prepare via acetone but the problem is that acetone evaporates very easily so we prefer ethanol to prepare iodoform so let us see how it is prepared. So it is prepared by treating ethanol in the presence of iodine. We take ethanol in the presence of iodine and you would form after initial reaction, you would form a beautiful yellow colored iodoform CHI3. So in the first step, you form sodium hypoiodite, NA. OI. So in the first step, when you react sodium hydroxide with iodine, you have to add iodine to NaOH to form an in situ reagent NaOI. So this NaOI is going to react with my ethanol to form aldehyde. Aldehyde will further react with more sodium hypoiodide to form triido propion LD, acetaldehyde, triidoacetaldehyde, which will further react with sodium hydroxide to form hydroform. So it is, the reaction involves actually four steps, but take place very, the, the steps take place very, very fast. So you can't control it, but you have to be very careful because if you do not add the contents correctly, if you do not do a proper addition, you will not end up, you will lose the product. So in the first step, you will take around five grams of iodine and dissolve it in acetone or ethanol. So you will take five grams of iodine and you will dissolve it in either acetone or ethanol. So the reaction takes place both in the presence of acetone and in the presence of ethanol. And after you've done the, uh, after you've added acetone or ethanol, not and either acetone or ethanol, then uh, you have to add slowly NaOH. We prepare 6% NaOH solution. We prepare 6% NaOH solution of NaOH and you will start adding it to your iodine solution which has been dissolved in either ethanol or acetone. So what do you do? You start adding and you have to cool the flask because if you ask, it is going to be an exothermic reaction. You have to cool the flask at regular intervals by keeping Keep it, keeping it under running water so that it becomes cool. It does not get warmed up. And after you start adding 6% NaOH solution to the iodine solution, which you have prepared, you will find that there will be initially a brown color, then disappearance of brown color, because, and then you allow, when you allow the mixture to stand for some time, you will start seeing a yellow precipitate of iodoform being formed because there's forced reactions that are taking place. The first step, is just that NOH and iodine have been added to form sodium hypoiodide. The second step, aldehyde. The third step, triidoacetaldehyde. And finally, you would form iodoform. So once you start adding NOH solution, 6% NOH solution, how much to be added? 
we cannot say how much of a six percent that will depend upon how how and when the color changes you will find that iodine is violet purplish color that color is going to change to brown brown will disappear you will keep it for some time and when it finally disappears you will find that there is going to be a yellow color precipitate being formed and they are those of hydrophone and they are those of hydrophone so this is the preparation it's a very simple preparation but you have to be very very careful while i adding sodium hydroxide 6% solution you have to stir the flask once the precipitate starts forming you have to just keep it gently and do not then shake the flask and do not touch it just let the precipitate being formed but during the process when the reactions are happening when you are adding any wedge you have to keep on shaking and cooling the flask so that proper reactions take place and all the products starting from aldehyde to triiodo acetaldehyde and finally iodoform are formed so when you write the overall reaction so this is the overall reaction hc So this is the overall reaction. You have ethanol, iodine, and NaOH. They form, iodo form, sodium acetate, sodium iodide, and water. All of them are dissolved or remain in suspended form in water. Whereas iodo form gets precipitated. You can filter it. You can dry it, and finally weigh it and calculate the melting point and the percentage yield of the iodo form prepared. so this is the overall reaction when you take ethanol as the medium to dissolve iodine you can see again a reaction where the medium actually participates where the solvent plays an important role and it participates in the reaction the other reaction with acetone is also similar but the reactions are a little different you have to learn both the reactions with ethanol as well as with acetone i hope this is clear the reactions uh, with uh, because you have in, in this part the most important thing is the reactions the most important things are the reactions the rest uh, are not that important but uh, you must know the reactions that are taking place <clears throat>